Hi guys, okay, so I'm going to be doing now a um, Oriflame Vista Group online training. So tonight what we're going to be talking about is promoting our Oriflame products online. Now, where to start? Okay, we always have a fantastic system that we've used before that's got us a great success and I don't want us to overcomplicate things by changing that. So we're going to go through the system of how we think that things will work and go forward tweak things here and there and um, to fit in with the Oriflame style but you know basically it's the same you know we're going to do things that we're going to get the group set up so if you've already got mm -hmm. a, um, a selling group and you want to keep that one then great if you want to start a new one and a fresh then you know that's fantastic as well but if we can start that off if it's a new group you need to start your group off with about 20 products in it before you add anybody okay just so that you're not overloading them you know, it's like going into a shop and you start filling the shelves around you, you're going to walk out, yeah? So if we get everything through in there first, then we can start adding people in. Really important that pictures are put in there individually and not in an album. So they go in there one at a time so that people can come in and look through your group. Now, what we suggest you do for your own group, your own buying selling group that you've created, that you post three to five products mm -hmm. a day, every day in your group, okay? When it comes to external buying and selling sites, what we recommend in here is to do 20 to 30 a day. Okay, starting off with 20 and building that up before you get to 30, just to try and avoid the Facebook bans as much as possible. Okay, what we also really like um, think is so important with your own group, especially, is that you need to be doing high interaction. So putting posts on there that's going to get other people to comment back. So we want things like, um, you know, like you can get lots of things like pop a quote here or what's your favourite film or, you know, all that type of stuff so that people go on and comment. Now what this does is it puts you up in the ranks in the Facebook eyes of being as a, a popular group. Because if Facebook see the group that no one's commenting on, it's just you, one after the other, posting products, they see that that's no one's interested in that group and it just doesn't get get seen the same, doesn't get shown in the news feed. So you want your group to be ranked as a popular group. You, know, you need to have lots of interaction going on. Okay. Um, one of the things we're recommending with this you know, particular company is doing video demonstrations of products. Now I'm going to go through that with you. Um, and the thing is with this, we're going to be sharing all of it. So you don't have to... Do it yourself if you're uncomfortable with that. Or, you know, we're going to put a group together where we're going to share all our videos and all our tutorials where everyone can use them, okay? Mm. You need to keep your Facebook reach really high on your own timeline, okay? So posting, I would recommend three times a day, okay? Posting something on there. You know, posting, like sharing videos, okay? YouTube videos, funny videos, motivational quotes. Pictures of you and your family are whatever you want to do, but keep your Facebook reach high. Okay, there's lots of things that Facebook likes. They like things like reviews and polls and uh, recommendations. They like that type of thing. And if you're doing that and you're giving back to Facebook, then they, you know, your reach goes a bit higher, which lets you get away with things like posting the selling groups without getting a ban as quick. What we want you to be doing is joining 10 selling groups every day as well. Okay. Now, we're going to do this, even though I'm going to go through, obviously, selling locally, but we're also going to go through selling up and down the country. So if you're joining 10 selling groups a day, every day, and getting in a routine of that, okay, you're going to build yourself lots of selling groups, but it's also, it's your routine, it's not unusual activity then, which will also help, for, you know, from stopping you getting any restrictions. You really want to focus on building your buy and sell group up, your own group. You know, ask friends to add people, you know, run some competitions, ask, ask everyone to just share it and get people to join that group because this is where you really want to build it up. I mean, in your 20 to 30 posts that you're going to do, I would say a good chunk of them now need to be advertising your group as well. Not the group link, so maybe hashtag your group. If we put like a hashtag, closed beauty room, um, and putting that on all your posts so that it's directing people to the things that's in your group, which then they can go and join your group, okay? Doing it that way, but you want to try and drive as much traffic towards your group as possible. Um, when you're getting going now, 
put an exciting Facebook on status, uh, status on Facebook, okay? You want to be able to create a bit of curiosity. I personally wouldn't be putting all over Facebook that you're an Oriflame rep because what I would suggest is that you do create that curiosity. You know, you're posting about how exciting your new business venture is. You're posting about all the wonderful products and the benefits of them. But if you were to just blast it everywhere that it's Oriflame, then people will just go and look in Google Oriflame and get what they need to get or join whatever. Whereas if they've got to come and ask you what it is that you're doing, then you, 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 it's, you're attracting them to yourself. Okay. Now, what we're recommending when we're getting done with this is writing down uh, at least 29, 20 names that you're going to now get. The catalog link sent to you straight away. You want to start earning some money and getting some sales from day one. Okay. So, a minimum of 20 names, but obviously more if you can. But you want to try and send the catalog to try and get as much sales together as you can. What we also recommend is if you're going to buy the startup kit, it comes with five free catalogs. So what I suggest is get that writing down the names of the first five people you're going to give them to, then the next five, then the next five, then the next five. This is all going to help towards your sales, okay? So as part of our system, I really recommend that that's, that's how we go and we still stick with that, which is very, very similar to what we've always done before. So social media is the way to go. Um, you know, it's opened up worldwide to everybody to come and have a little look at what we sell and what we promote and we can um we can really do that with all the all of these okay facebook right now is the most you know the most popular one um but there's so many other ways that we can get i mean i really think we focus at one at a time start mastering one then master the other then master the other but social media is definitely the way that let's face it the younger generation it's their life it's how they communicate it's how everything's done. So we need to move with the times on that and, and make sure that that's added into our daily routine of, of this business. Now, something I'm recommending now with this is something that obviously we did do in Clean Easy as well. We always done product demonstration. Yeah, so we could get things like the pineapple corer and we'd, we'd twist it out and we'd show people what, what that would do and, and get the wipeout stain removed and we'd do a demo and things like that. Now, now, We've got makeup and we've got creams and we've got all kinds of beauty regimes that we can teach. Yeah, we can go on, we can do, you know, little examples there of one eye and the other eye. We can do pictures, we can do videos. Okay, we can do all of this stuff. Now, this is where I'm talking about that we can all share this. Yeah, so you don't necessarily have to do this. So if you're sat there looking and you're thinking, well, I'm no good at makeup or I have no, like, want to do, to do that then that's okay because we're going to share it. we're all going to share it as a group and we can all um pop that in our buy and selling groups as well and we can still obviously generate our sales through that now when we're doing all these tutorial videos we will have all the products there so we can say you know step one we're going to use this eye primer and step two we've got this eye pencil and, and step three you know this is the way we can do that we've got the prices to all our products there now, a couple of people have mentioned to me about doing the links, okay? So what they're saying is, I put my product in and then I put my product link to go to my beauty star. I really would not recommend that we do this because, for one, we know that overposting links will get you a Facebook ban, okay? But ideally, you want them to come to you anyway. It's just like with Clean Easy. When we sold things online and we put all our products out there, we didn't necessarily put the link, okay? we would get people to come to us, ask us, and we would then arrange either a local delivery or a drop ship or um, a direct PayPal checkout, whatever. And it's just the same. We just want to have the product and get them to come to you on that. Now, something that I think that we really need to be with this now is um, is getting with all the trends. What, what's hot right now, okay? This company is, you see it all the time with so many different making companies. For example, you've got Unique. Yeah, Unique is um, another cosmetics company that does really well online and it's really trendy. You know, it's got, it attracts a lot of younger people. And I think that we can make this really trendy because we sell some really good stuff. We sell some really good products. And if we keep up to trend with seeing what's out, seeing, you know, all the different things like, like the celebrity looks, you know, you can keep an eye on all of that. You can recreate them. 
And you know what? If you're not very good at that, I'm sure you can find somebody that is. Okay, so there's all that type of sides of the business that I feel that we can just add in now along with the successful system that we already had. And don't forget the men's beauty routine, okay, as well, because we've got all of that, which I will be getting Chris demonstrating all of these creams and face masks. So, why not do all this by going live? Okay, going live is one of the biggest ways of keeping your Facebook reach really high because they love it. They love people going live as well. So it's another good one. Um, there's so much that we can do with going live. We can do demonstrations of the product. We can promote our business. Um, but like I say, it's going to keep your Facebook reach high. Um, and it's going to help brand yourself, which I think is really, really important as well with the online side of the business, is branding yourself, okay? Um, you know, what is it that you want people to know you as, all of that. And stay in, uh, in people's news feeds. You know, we want that. We want to be out there. We want people to just be constantly seeing what we're doing. So when it comes to branding yourself, I think it's, you know, like it says, what do you want to be known for? So you need to have a bit of an identity. You need to have, you know, like a value and a position and an attribute. And all of this has got to be um, what you want to be known for. Okay. And hopefully that you're branding yourself in the right way. You know, so if someone says your name, what do they instantly think of? Okay. So for me, I know that where I live in my town, if someone says clerk and seller, all they know me as is hairdresser or clean easy. Yeah. So they're fine. I'm, I'm happy with that. But to change that now, we need to already claim. Okay. So there's all this type of stuff that we need to get out there. So I've got a lot of work now promoting this. Um, you know, we've got to brand ourselves in the right way and make sure that people are coming. And it's good if you've got a bit, a bit of a niche, you know, something a bit quirky, something Jackie McCormack with a fringe check. You know, that's always really worked. It's something that people know are for when, when they go online. So maybe having a little bit of something like that really works when you're going to do um, all your lives and stuff. Online parties. Now, I think these are just brilliant. You know, we have so many people that do so well with online parties. Um, they're really good to launch catalogs. So you could do one every three weeks. Every time there's a new catalog come out, launch it. Launch the special offers. You just set up an event in your group and you fill it with products and you get people coming in and, and seeing what, what you've got on offer because some of the special offers are just brilliant. You know, I've been on today and ordered like mascara, four pounds and things like that. It's really good offers that they've got running, so why not do that, okay? So why not get others to host them as well? You really want to run with the online parties. You know, asking on your Facebook. A way that I was getting lots of online parties was I would, Pick a gift, okay? So I might, I, I had, we could use, say, a um, perfume or some makeup, and you could put that on your page and say, who wants this for free? Mm. And then what happens is you get people commenting, saying to you, oh, I, I do, I do. How can I get this for free? And then you don't put it on the post, you go off, you message them. Okay, great, all I need you to do is host me a party. All you've got to do, it's all on Facebook, you just get me at least 20 to 30 people on the night in that event and you can have it for free. You do the work then, but you've got different people. Then you advertise on the party. Who would like this for free? Me, 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 me. Right, great. All I need you to do is go and get your friends to host me a party. And can you see how this is going to um, pan out that way? Yeah. Now, what we've been thinking as well, and this is going to tie in really well with the online party, I think. So it's a customer slash consultant. Now, it's free to join this business, okay? So when, when we're selling online, if you're selling locally, do it as you always done. Mm. Drop your products off to people and get yourself that 35% commission, okay? Get that money in your pocket. But if then people are outside of your area of delivery, then get them to sign up as a, consult as a customer slash consultant. So all we would do is we would sell it to them this way. Why don't you get yourself signed up? You're going to get 20 to 35% of all the things you buy. You're going to get free gifts with orders. There's all the things going on. You're going to get a discounted starter pack with samples and all different, you know, 80, 90 pounds of the products for 19.99 if you order you want it. Okay. Um, and also we will add you to our customer support group. And in that customer support group, we're going to fill that group with um, lots of video demonstrations, lots of 
offers that are out now, and it's going to be one giant buying so and so. But the customers are already yours in there. There's nothing to worry. Once you've got mm. them in there, everybody else is going to do the work for you as well because we'll all be posting constantly. We'll all be keeping that ticking over, and your people who you've signed up as a customer who I'll go on and think, right, what's what's the, what's on sale this week? You know, how many people go shopping at like Costco, for example, and they've not got a business, but because it's at wholesale price, they go and buy in bulk. Yeah? If they can see they're going to get 35% discount, it's going to make them want to order more. Plus, they get themselves five catalogs in the starter pack if they decide they want to, you know, get all them three things for 19.99. They may well go and hand them catalogs out to friends and family who will then maybe place an order with them, earn them a bit of money, make them realise that actually I could do this myself and I could go on and be a consultant. And if they don't, then that's okay as well because having lots of these customers is going to build your volume, okay? If we can go out there and we can just literally fill this now with lots of people coming in, consultants, consultants, all joining you and they all put 50 quid order on even, you know, if that's the thing. The thing with this is you get incentives for you to keep putting orders on for three months as well when you join up. So there's all that going on. And if you do that and they come into this and they're going to keep seeing all the offers, then they will. And if bits of orders everywhere, lots and lots of people will make a massive volume, which is going to put your bonus up. This is where you're going to start earning more money off a huge amount of people that are all placing a small amount of orders. And these people, you don't even need to work with. These are customers. Yeah, these are not people you need to have coaching calls with. These are customers that are just in that group that are getting sold to on a regular basis that are going to go in, order themselves, not even come to you. And there you go, you're getting your commission on it. Okay, frontline people, 9%. So we're also going to talk about as well now, attraction marketing. So what we want is we want people to come and join you and we want it to be done the right way. Yeah, we do not need to bombard anybody. Okay, me and Chris have been doing the network marketing now for five years and we've never really approached, like bombarded our people at all, ever. So we've always just had people come to us. Um, yes, of course, we tell them what we're doing and we, of course we always make it aware that we're looking for people and if they ever want to join, but they've always approached us, okay? So we need to do that. There is no need for the push yourself. You need to create a need and a want. And, you know, I think this is the same with the selling. We're going to have things that you might look at in the catalogue and not necessarily think you need. But we will find that need. We will create that need. We will create that one. And we will get that on Facebook. And people will then come to you and say they want to be a part of that. Okay. The thing is, people want to join you, not necessarily the company. You know, you've got to, this is why it's so important to brand yourself, what you're coming across as on Facebook as well. Okay. We don't. Lots of people will say that it doesn't matter what people think about you and all that. But you know what? In this type of business, it does. It does matter what people think if you want them to join you or you want them to be a customer with you. So make sure you're always, you know, betraying yourself the right way on Facebook and putting um, positive things all the time. Because I'll tell you this, there's a complainer. Yeah, you can, you can see people on Facebook and I'll see them. And every day it's like, oh, God, it's a miserable day. Oh, I hate work. Oh, my life's so boring. Oh, this, that, and the other. And I look at them and I think, God, I'd hate to have their life. Now, if they were trying to sell me a business, I'd be running from them. I'd be like, oh my God, no way, I never want your life. So, you know, don't put things like how stressful things are or anything like that. Just keep, keep things positive because they will come and join you purely because they want to be like you. They want what you've got. They want the lifestyle like you've got. So make sure you're getting that across the right, the right way. Okay. Um, again, I'm putting in not saying what you're doing. So again, that's all to do with not necessarily marketing or oriflame all over your business. You want to create a bit of a, a bit of interest where people are a bit nosy to see what you're doing. Yeah, so that they don't necessarily know. The amount of people would just click on and go, oh yeah, and say it's oriflame. I'm not going to have a look on the website or whatever. You want them to come and say, what is it that you're doing? What is it because it looks great? Drip feeding information to people. This type of stuff is what grew our business. Just little drips of information. You know, obviously our first trip to Jamaica that we got, where we're lying on the beach. This is the life this business has given us. That got us our, you know, one of our first gold legs through that. Then we've got, you know, things like the champagne celebrating more success. 
you know, sat outside in the sun with the laptop on a sunny day when everyone's complaining all over Facebook, how hot it was and they were stuck in work. And I'm there on Facebook, wow, days like this, I just love being able to sit outside. That's the type of thing that you need. And then also having fun, showing that you're having fun. The team that has fun is the team people want to be a part of. So make sure that all that is getting all put on Facebook and how much you're enjoying it because you'll start attracting lots of people. Now, I wanted to go through on here, Joe Warman and Annette Mason and Kate Bancroft have all put together a fantastic new starter checklist. Now, we, you know, this is something that we can all follow, we can all keep up to date with. Um, there's lots of different things, you know, these different incentives that you can do. Again, getting your group set up, posting your products, all of that type of stuff. Um, it's got on there the starter pack codes and going through the 90 day business plan and, and downloading all the apps. All of that stuff is on there. So that's great for you to follow if you're setting up a new person. Now, for online, well, for all of it, you need to kind of use the incentives, yeah, to keep people going. So we've got, for every time people join, they've got this, like, incentive, the first rewards, like how welcome it was, one, two, and three, okay? And this is all the different things you need to do over the three campaigns, which is encouraging sales each month, and you'll get all these things for free. And if we push that and we promote that and then we really recognise that, I think that that will keep people going because we've definitely used little stepping stones of recognition to keep our group going. So these are some of the little recognition posts that I've made um, that we're just going to keep sharing. You know, sharing it on the group and sharing it on the timeline. I think it's really important. All right, so we need to be doing things like welcome to the team post on the timeline. You know, well done on placing your first order on the timeline. Okay, all that type of stuff we need to have out there so that they're seeing it, but also the friends are seeing it, and then they want to know what they're doing, and it's creating more. If we can do this right across, and their friends are seeing it, and then they want to join, and then their friends are seeing it, okay? So there's loads of different ways of doing it, where the recognition that is really important, but I think on the timeline, this can make a big difference. So all this is just like getting a new card, isn't it? You know, we've got, it's a car, yeah? So we joined a business, it's a network marketing business that sells products with catalogs and online. Isn't that very similar to what we're all used to? You know, you're getting a new car, this was described to me today by Sarah John, and I thought it was great, you get a new car, you don't really indicate the item, your windscreen white is on, you know, you can't find this and you can't find that, but you know what, we quickly adjust. Yes, it's different to what we used to, but we very quickly adjust. And sooner or later, you'll be forget. You'll forget what your old time. You work. You're not sure how how you even worked any differently because you're just used to what you know. Then, and it it is always a bit daunting at first. But we just need to make sure that we are stripping it back to basics. Okay. We do, it doesn't matter what the pay plan is to get to the district manager right now. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the rules and reg. You know, we never went through the handbook of our free museum. Went through all the rules and regs. You know, I never did anyway. All this type of stuff, we've just got to put it to one side. Let's go and sell some products. Let's go and share this business with other people and let's just watch it grow. So, thank you very much. And sorry I couldn't get on the webinar, so let's do it like this. But that's all for me. So, thank you.